So the project I worked on is something basically I had some immediate need of for my project and something very specific, but hopefully it can be generalized later on to have the access uh, facilitate life for more people than just me. Um, so to give some context, uh, I use that. Um, I have an experiment on the Ocean Networks Canada uh, cable observatory that has like video cameras, uh, iris uh, acoustic camera, and a uh, hydrophones. And we're trying to look at uh, fish sounds and also behavior of fish with lights. It's a very turbid environment, so hence the acoustic camera. Uh, so it's kind of the setup. So we have the uh, like a structure with the camera, with the video camera and the acoustic camera, and that's looking at the hydrophone. And the type of data it collects, yeah, that was deployed on in the city of Georgia on the cable observatory from Ocean Networks Canada. And the type of data it collects is this. So you have the video camera on top, the, the sonar, so the acoustic camera on the bottom, and then you also have sound. And we want to, over time, can correlate uh, fish sounds with the fish we see on the cameras and try to build up a dictionary of fish sounds. So now it's all the streams of data. Uh, <laughs> And if you take every single file, you try to see like where the detection happened, that's me. <laughs> that takes a lot of time and that's a, a simple task, but it's just slows me down substantially. Um, so I wanted to come up with a tool that basically automatically like you have an acoustic detection, so you have a specific timestamp and able to display uh, the different, the data from that timestamp from the different sensors. Um, and that's that is stream sync. So that's kind of the overview of the system. Uh, so all the data are like available on Ocean Networks Canada, like uh, data storage. Uh, so they have uh, like a Python API to get the data, but for to simplify the problem right now, I had downloaded just a subset of those data. Um, so there's three data streams. So the sonar are meta file, the video are, are MP4, and the audio are WAV file. And then I, process with some um, algorithm, the audio data, to have detection of fish sounds. And those are stored as MATLAB files. So the first step was uh, basically make sense of all those data, read them, and basically put all the metadata in a, in a Postgres database. So for the MATLAB, uh, I used uh, the SciPy package, uh, and then put there like, all the like, frame rates, uh, the length, and all that stuff frequencies. For the video, I used OpenCV. Uh, for the audio sound file, it's a package to read and play uh, wave files, or sound files in general. And I also loaded the detections. So basically, in that, you do that once, and then, then you have this Postgres SQL database with basically all the information uh, that you can easy, easily query. So now the the other part is you want to have a user that has like a friendly, nice looking interface and you look at automatic detections and you say, okay, look, I want to have a look at the data from all the sensors at that time. So first you load the, 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 the table of detections and you display that on the, on the web browser uh, and then you query one specific time. And then that goes and look for the data, extract all the frames uh, for that time and all that stuff, and display it hopefully nicely at some point uh, in the browser using all of views and panel. Um, so I spent probably way too much time to do the first part of it. <laughs> and then last night I finally got some visual, uh, also pretty basic. Uh, so right now basically the, the slider here is the, the detection number, so it's through a table, uh, then you choose your detection and that updates like the waveform, the spectrogram, video, and sonar. So now it's pretty slow and pretty ugly, really. Um, and uh, at the end, hopefully, I'd like to have like a time series instead of just a slider where you can select uh, basically everything. Um, and here it only shows one frame, uh, and I'd like to have like a small movie basically to see what's going on. And so as a conclusion, so that's um, basically a pretty rough prototype, uh, but at least the main kind of pipes are laid down. 
Uh, so I need to go back and kind of improve every single module. Um, as I said, I'd like to have like a detection time series when I can click and that brings all the other data. But also in other experiments, I have several hydrophones, so I can actually localize in 3D where the sound comes from. So you have, I'd like to have like a 3D plot like this where you select the sound that was localized and that would bring like, for example, the video so I can say, oh, this sound was from a link card or something. Um, yeah, better displays that, yeah. A longer term, like basically, I think that could be uh, usable for maybe other types of instruments like a radar or um, any other data, like you want to basically merge in a single view. So that's it. And I just want to take a minute just to thank all the organizers. That was an awesome week and I learned quite a bit. So thanks a lot. In both, like in the first time, I'm interested uh, to see the fish and the sound. But it's also interesting to know when they're that species in the array not making sound, because for monitoring purposes, then you know, well, like we found out that that species only produce sound like 50% of the time. So when you detect sound and you only use like passive acoustics for monitoring, then you can put a weight on that and say like, yeah, maybe it's just 50% of the time. Yeah, so you can you see in the first things like I, I have a super basic like object detection uh, that I use for now, but uh, you, you'll build the next uh, <laughs> fish detector in the images. Thank you.